All right, so here we have a new motor from uh, Sunny Sky. This one I purchased from Banggood because I thought it would be an interesting motor to uh, test and review. It's the R1408. Uh, this one's the 3200 kV. Uh, Sunny Sky has been making motors for quite a few years and always they've done a pretty good job on making motors. Uh, so this one's from their Edge Racing Series. Uh, this is their high performance uh, line of motors. I thought it'd be a good one to, to test and so we could compare it to other similar size motors. So as you can see, they put this uh, scratch, you know, you make sure you get the uh, authentic motors. I guess there's a, a lot of counterfeiting lately uh, on the internet, so make sure you get the correct motors. So they come in this box, nothing fancy, just a regular cardboard box, and motor comes inside a plastic bag, and they give you a couple of uh, M2 screws and some washers. Uh, those are the mounting screws, and a night lock so right away uh, you'll notice there's something different on this motor is the shaft and the night lock as you can see what they did is they turned down the shaft from M5 to a smaller diameter thread so let's see what that is so it looks like that could be N4, N4 thread. So, hmm, don't know if I, uh, you know, don't know if I like that idea because what what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to have a different, uh, a different wrench to tighten this nut because it's not the same as the, uh, it's not the same size as the standard motors. Uh, so this one's gonna need a seven millimeter. Uh, wrench and the standard motors they use eight millimeters you gotta carry extra tools so my best guess is they did that to save weight uh, you're gonna end up with uh, less material here on the shaft and a smaller uh, nylock so it'll save uh, maybe I don't know a gram or a fraction of a gram so I don't know if it's worth the hassle and I don't know if it's gonna catch up uh, if other manufacturers are going to adopt the same configuration. Honestly, I thought uh, the standard M 8mm nut was fine. It is a little bit oversized for the 3 inch props, but the one thing that was uh, good about it is that you, you don't have to worry about ha having different uh, size night locks or different size uh, wrench. So, okay, that's the difference there and uh, other than that the motor as you can see they're adopting all the latest features a naked bottom so the minimal type of base here and uh, let's see what the pattern is on the mounting screws so that looks like uh, it looks like 12 millimeters so 12 by 12 and the shaft diameter looks like it's three millimeters so that's good pretty beefy shaft so that should be uh, that should be pretty strong and uh, the configuration on the stator is 9 and 12p so that's pretty much standard other than that those are the main features on the motor and it does come with a rather short motor wires those are only about 90 millimeters so would be good if they had given us a little bit longer, maybe 100, 110 millimeters at least. Uh, so this one might not reach the center mounted ESCs. So I'm gonna weigh it, let's see what it weighs with these 90 millimeters worth of wire. So that says 18 grams. So that's the amount of wire that we would have to remove to make the wires uh, 50 millimeters in length. So let's see what that is. Uh, 0.6 grams. So let's tear that. And so the motor would weigh in about 17.3 uh, or so. So a little bit heavier than the 1407s. It is a one millimeter taller stator. 
so that's to be expected. Uh, usually 1407s weighing in at about 14 to to 16 uh, grams. So this one's a good uh, two grams heavier. So okay, I'll remove that C clip and I'll pull this apart. So see what it looks like inside. All right, so here's the motor up close. Uh, on the website, uh, Sunny Sky, they don't talk about much uh, as far as what material the armature is made out of or the or the um, the shaft. But for the larger motors, they do list uh, uh, using 7075 aluminum. So I would I would imagine this is the same material. Uh, the shaft is magnetic, so uh, most likely it is uh, just uh, uh, hardened steel. So let's go ahead and pull this. Uh, magnets should also be not N52, as in the larger motor, uh, being that this is the same uh, performance series, the R uh, uh, series, the H, H Racing. So let's pull this apart. I remove the circuit clip and I can see the uh, the bearings already came off a little bit so that's good it should be easy to re to um, uh, to remove so that's kind of good I like it when more when the bearings are uh, when they, they fit tight but not overly tight so they're easy to remove like this one so press that back in so that's nice and uh, a uh, nice density on the magnets there. They certainly look to be, I guess, because they're so narrow. Maybe they're not. It doesn't seem that like they're actually curved, but because they're so narrow, uh, they they still make a nice round uh, pattern. So can't really tell if they have a uh, an arc to them, you know. And there's the single piece shaft. So pretty beefy at uh, three millimeters. So that, that's good. Uh, the only thing uh, with going three millimeter on that is that uh, sometimes uh, they have to reduce the the actual bearing. Uh, uh, the ball bearings have to be smaller because uh, the the inner diameter has to. Uh, get larger but the outer diameter stays about the same because you have limited space here so so you have to reduce the the size of the ball bearings and sometimes that uh, causes the bearings to not last that long uh, just talking here I don't know if that's gonna be the case uh, could be that the bearings last the same amount of time as in the 1407s uh, those those other motors I think they have a uh, Two and a half, maybe uh, two and a half millimeter, uh, or maybe two millimeter shaft. I forget. Uh, but anyway, it's so smaller than that. All right, so let's get a measurement on the stator height. Pretty much eight millimeters on the dot, so no surprises there. And uh, can't really tell if it's single strand or multi strand wire. Uh, yeah, so I had a. I had a closer look and it, it does seem to be multi-strand but it bundles of two as far as I can tell it's pretty tiny there so and uh, they've uh, they've added some epoxy here to uh, to secure the wire to relieve some uh, stress on the wire so that's pretty good attention to detail there so that's a good thing so okay, that's the overview and teardown of this uh, 1408 uh, 3200 kV motor. I've asked Sunny Sky to send me the other kV variants of the motor, so hopefully they'll send them. If it's anything like the 1106 I've uh, tested from Sunny Sky, this one should be pretty powerful. Uh, the 1106 is one of the most powerful 1106s you can buy. So we'll see how this one does. Let's put it on the thrust stand.
All right, so let's look at the thrust test results for the Sony Sky R1408 3200kV. The motor measured at a lower kV than spec, so only 3095. Uh, so I went ahead and tested the motor on 4S using the usual prop, starting with the 3 inch prop. Uh, this one, uh, the 3030x3, is one of the lighter props, so it doesn't put that much load on the motor. So it kind of shows you how much uh, the motor is going to. Uh, spin up. Uh, so 517 uh, good result I think. Very light load uh, only 14 and a half amps so very manageable. Keep in mind these are static thrust amps so they are gonna be higher than what you get on in flight. Uh, usually around 35 percent so if you multiply all these max amps by 0.65 you'll get a approximate uh, maximum amp that you'll see in the air and again those are gonna be burst amps as well so you only see them for a couple of seconds you know when you punch out or come out of a dive uh, that's what you may see so that's why I use those max amps we wanna see what the expected max amp is so anyway uh, the next prop the HQ 3030x4 uh, it's another good prop to test motors just to see how much torque the motor have uh, this propeller puts a little bit more load uh, having four blades uh, so we get here 560 grams at 17.5 amps, but still pretty manageable. And then uh, moving on to the Lumineer 3040x3. This is one of the propellers that uh, performs best, 3 inch propellers, uh, 580 at uh, 17.2. As a reference, uh, most uh, 1407s, 3600 uh, kV motors mix anywhere from 600 to about 620 grams on this prop. I, I forget the number of amps. Those tests are available on the channel. So uh, take a look at the other 1407s. You can just search on my channel for keyword 1407 and it'll show you a list of all the 1407 motors I tested. So those would be a good comparison to make, all, all the 1407 tests that I've done. So you can pull those Excel spreadsheets and compare if you want to do that. Uh, next one, uh, this one's one of the new props, uh, the Rotor X 3044T. So this one has kind of like the new design similar to the Genfan Flash. Pretty good propeller overall. I think uh, a lot of people are liking this prop. It's, it's pretty light. So 580, it's just slightly higher than the Lumineer. It is showing a little bit higher amps, but uh, that's what I'm noticing with all these new props like the Genfan Flash and these Rotor X props. All these new props have been designed to work best on their dynamic conditions, mainly having moving air through them. So on static, they don't show as good numbers, you know, or, or they'll show very little increase in performance. But everybody knows that these props are quite fast. So if you put them in the air side by side with all these other more traditional pr props, they'll actually be faster. But then the next one, uh, one that I always test is this uh, two blade 4045. Good numbers as well, 741. So that's actually about the same as a 1407 3600 kV, if I recall correctly. And actually overall, from what I recall, on these smaller props, I'm seeing probably about 30 grams higher uh, thrust on this motor and on the larger props 4 and 5 inch uh, it seems to be a, around 50 to up to 100 uh, grams higher output on this Sunny Sky 1408. Quite a strong motor overall, good results on the 4 inch as well, uh, seems like okay match though the amps are s starting to climb of course uh, as we go up in better diameter but I think uh, for instance this new HQ4043 I think it's still quite viable so should match pretty well if you're using like one of those ultra light uh, frames and uh, dial 4045 V2 863 at 27 amps so amps start to climb and I know some people like to use these motors with 5 inch so here's some of the 5 inch uh, results uh, this 5045 actually will show a lot of amps right here very high but I know uh, there are some setups that people are flying uh, with this prop the amps will come down a lot while in the air you know so you, you won't be seeing these high amps uh, it'll be a lot lower so this 5045 may still uh, match pretty well with this motor on a very light frame. Uh, okay, so there you go. That's the thrust test results for this uh, 1408 motor. Would be a good upgrade from a 1407. But I mean, if you already have a 1407, probably not uh, worth it to just dump those and go for 1408 if you already have a, a good setup with a 1407, unless you actually do need to change motors.
or really need a lot more speed but uh, uh probably with the higher kv I, I ordered the 3200 kv because i thought it would be a little bit more versatile kv uh, so all right that was the thrust test results for this motor i uh, hope you find that useful uh, thank you for watching and until the next video